Now you know the food gonna be good when it's next to a Baptist church. Today we're at JL Smokehouse. My name is Jonathan Jones, and this is Cookout Culture. How you doing, bud? Man, doing great. Oh you man, said? much love, man. Much man. love. Ladies and gentlemen, JL, the pit master. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? <laughs> Glad you guys with us. Shortly after meeting up with James Lewis, we got right into Brisket 101. This man is an educator through and through. He's got a wealth of knowledge, well respected in the barbecue community, and most importantly, he's a beautiful soul. So look at that juice on there. Woo. You see all that juice that is on there? Yes, sir. Now, see what some people make a big mistake at. They'll take a brisket like this and go straight into the cambro. If you go into the cambro, because see, people think you can do repetition with a brisket. You can take two brisket, two brisket on every cow, and not one of them is going to be the same. And that, that's how different it is. How much grass, is, uh, what type of grass it was feeding off of. Uh, who raised it, how much money they had to raise them, how much money they invested into that particular cow. If that cow was, uh, uh, you know, didn't have the best grass or the, that it was feeding off of, you're gonna taste that in your meat. This over here, because it already got some love, we're gonna let her rest just sitting on this table. We're not gonna put her in a cambro because you have, if I put her in a cambro, she gonna tear all apart. All that hard work you're doing, and because you want to do it out of tradition, you go throw it inside of a cambro or a cooler and you mess up the whole brisket all by that. So it's a big thing. The biggest decision on brisket is when you, uh, when it have cooked. A lot of people think their problem cooking brisket is uh, in the cook. Most of the time it's not in the cook, but the problem come is the decision. What do you do when you, when, later on, when you're getting ready to pull it off? Do I put in a cooler? Do I let it set out on room temperature? How do I handle that process? And then how long do I let it go into the rest period? So what is messing up most people on brisket is the rest period. And that's the part right there. They can't determine where it's gonna rest at. That's very important. How long it's gonna rest. That's very important as well. And it's those factors that are killing, that are gonna make your brisket or you're gonna destroy your brisket. One of the dopest things about JL is that he's an open book. So I asked him straight up, I've been having challenges with the consistency of my ribs. How does he hit the mark? The tenderness of this rib, all you gotta do is look at that bone. And if that meat is crawling back on that bone, trust me, your ribs are ready to eat. And they are tender enough, okay? There go a bone right there. Now, I want y'all to just look at how when he bite into that bone and see that there's no fight back. Everybody said no fight back. No fight back. No Don't fight, fight back, back with me. You see that? Man. <laughs> Ain't no fight back with that. Man. It ain't. Right off it. With JL rib, you gotta bite it and it gotta be a clean bone. When you see meat still on these people bones and they bite into it and they get off and you don't see the cleanness of that bone, it ain't that tender. <laughs> but see here, that is tender. That's when you tender. can bite, look at that. Clean to the bone. That's what you're looking for. And that's what you get with a JL rib. That's JL, baby. Now you can't come to JL Smokehouse and not try the pulled pork. Ladies and gentlemen, here's why. This is about the only time you ever hear me make a bold statement like I'm about to make. And that bold statement is, I got the best damn pulled pork in the country. I say in the country. Talk to him. That mean all America. Let's go. All the whole world. Come on. And I know you just got mad at me by saying that, <laughs> all right? Now here, I want to just show you how tender that is. You see that? See that there? Yes, sir. That ain't nothing but love. That you can't pork. mess with that. that you can't pork. mess with that. Man, that right there. That's real. <laughs> It has been an honor and a privilege to spend space and time with Brother JL. He's standing on the shoulders of his ancestors and he's doing them proud. What he stands for, what he's doing in the community, the love, the passion that he provides to the game is unmatched. The only way I can sum it up is the hype is real. 
The hype is real. JL Smokehouse gets the official cookout culture stamp of approval. Peace and love.